when I realized that it manifested yeah. was when I was in P2. I got to know that it was called masturbation, I think when I had reached high school. Mm. So me, I was doing something and I didn't know what it was. Yeah. Every time, I'm telling you this is the truth, God is my witness. Every time I would watch anything that has any sexual scene or any sexual, you know, act. act or what, I would get stimulated. Music and movies are spiritual. True. I masturbated when everyone was in the living room and no one ever knew. I hated myself, but I would live in denial. Mm. I would find ways of making sure that I don't feel bad about what I'm doing. So I would always be in an environment where people make it look okay. I can sit here and you even don't know that I masturbate. Mm -hmm. So the fact that I'm giving you a perfect picture, yet it's a lie, that is how I start now lying in other. In fact, people that masturbate, it's natural for them to lie. Because they are living because a lie. Because they are living a lie already. There is something about the word of God. Mm. I promise you, I kid you not. <laughs> you know when the Bible says that the anointing breaks the yoke? Mm. That anointing is the word of God. There is something about the word of God that breaks every yoke. Yes. Hi guys, welcome to today's episode where we are talking about a topic that is uncomfortable, okay? But the reason we are talking about it is because of the discomfort it comes with and that is masturbation. Masturbation, according to the survey carried out by the Kensington Institute of Research in Sex, Gender and Reproduction, it found out that 40% of men and 30% of women in relationships masturbate and that 90 percent of men of all ages masturbate regularly so it means it's more common in men than women in uganda the topic of masturbation is never brought up it's more of a secret battle that happens in the lives of many young men and young women and today we just want to dive into that and um kind of understand the whys and the hows of overcoming such a battle the truth of the matter is that it's a battle there's nobody who does it and they'll comfortably tell you that they are happy about it but for some reason there's no power no strength to stop and today we just want to help maybe somebody who could be struggling and also create a balance of what actually works and what doesn't work when it comes to overcoming such and even more sexual vices and i'm privileged to have a sit down with a one shiba who has decided to power out her life live like an open book <laughs> for you to learn <laughs> for you to hear her and um hear how she battled with the same and how she actually uh overcame yeah so I, I want you to really um don't be so biased because this 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 conversation is gonna be so balanced so don't be so biased be open-minded and let's just talk yeah if you know anybody that could be struggling, I mean, this could be uh, something that will help them. So please join me as we welcome Shiba Mohere. Ta <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Good to have you. Thank you. How are you? Are I'm you? good. I'm That's energetic. You, you look, Banange. You really look like you're mm. ready. This morning, I also prayed and I was like, you know what, God, I'm so ready for this show. Mm. And I just pray that you'll be open, share your experience, share your life. And... Let us see um, how possible overcoming such a vice can be. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And briefly before we go in the discussion, who is Shiba? <laughs> so Shiba Matha, <laughs> first of all, is a Ugandan. Yeah. I'm a believer in Christ. Yeah. I'm a child of God. Yeah. I come from a family of four. Yeah. My parents are amazing parents, Mr. 
Steven and Jen Mugisha. Yeah. Zena Mugala and I'm the last born. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a baby of the house. Yeah. So, yeah. Um I'm a minister mm. at my church. I'm yeah. a youth minister at my church. Yeah. I uh part of what I do, I'm an event host, yeah. a TV radio presenter, a commercial yeah. model, voiceover yeah. artist. Yeah. Those are things that bring in the money. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I hear you. So briefly, that is that's Shiba. Shiba Mata. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing, mm. Shiba. Now, um, I just want us to go in the conversation. Yeah. And this is a conversation that, you know, many times people term it as secret sin. Mm. Secret sin is something you do without anybody. Mm-hmm. And you, like it's between you and you. Mm. Between yourself. Mm-hmm. And you, mm-hmm. <laughs> you get, get if there is a third person, <laughs> I don't know, but usually that's the perception yeah. that nobody knows about this. I'm doing it alone. Nobody knows it. So, mm. yeah. So it being secretive mm. comes with a lot of not being open mm. about sharing it. Mm. So why do you find it easy to open up? Because when I contacted you, were like, yeah, sure, sure. Why? Why are you so excited mm. to talk about it and maybe passionate as well to talk about it? Well, for starters, it's not easy yeah. talking about this yeah. because of what happens after you talk about it. Okay. Personally, I've always been scared to speak about it because the fact that I'm a youth minister at my church Mm. you know like there are people that look at me and think that if I have everything all together I've had the perfect life yeah so at some point even my own parents my own family the fact that it was a secret thing I was like I cannot let anybody ever find out about this even if I've been delivered how do I even start so for me the devil had lied to me that the fact that God had delivered me from this vice yeah even speaking about it or testifying about it i would feel ashamed i would feel guilty mm-hmm. but then i remember yeah. the very first time when i openly shared about it and it was just a little glimpse i didn't go deep into the story like how we are going to yeah. talk about it today yeah. but it was just a simple glimpse and i remember when i was sharing me i didn't have a problem mm. After I went off stage, hmm. this was a church. Yeah. In my head, I was like, Panagi, what did I just do? Why did I even say this? Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for what is going to come yeah. after this. Yeah. And when I went back home, my dad was my dad was giving me this look of Your dad was in the church? No, he was watching on TV. Oh, yeah. Because I came out and spoke about this, I think, either in 2018 or 2019, yeah. in one of our youth services. Yeah. So I remember my parents were like, ah. There was that, they couldn't say it, but you could feel the energy. You could feel the vibe that they are giving you. They're like, yeah. man, I can't believe yeah. this is my own child that was doing this right under my nose. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, and then there was also this thing of... Uh, you know, we live in a world where the judgment is so right on. Like, people can judge you immediately. Yeah. They're like, hey, you know, I'm a youth minister. I'm always jolly, happy. You know, they're seeing me on TV, seeing me, hearing me on radio, yeah. seeing me on billboards. What was I like? How can she? How? You know? Yeah, yeah. But then I remember when I was. When I was feeling bad, because mm. I was feeling bad about sharing this, but then in my head, I was like, you know what? Mm. This is not about me. Yeah. This is about God, really. Mm. This is about God. Yeah. And I remember those days, I used to actually try to figure out mm. who has ever come out speaking about this thing. Mm. I would yeah. go on YouTube. All they would just say mm. is... Things that you're not supposed to do to avoid masturba- masturbation. But no one was, I didn't see anyone that was coming out and saying, I went through this, mm. I survived this, I got delivered. Mm. I didn't see that. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? If I'm the first person, let me be the first. Mm. 
let me just pour out my story out there so that's someone mm. who is out there maybe 25 years from now because there's nothing new under the sun sure they'll be able to what they'll be able to have a prototype on youtube yeah. where they can be able to be like oh actually i'm not alone yeah and there is nothing new under the sun so yeah if she was able to you know get delivered out I of this and too. stay focused then yeah. i can too so for me it was more of why i find it so easy is because my perspective changed that it's not about me mm. it's about showing the power of god mm. that is available to break every yoke wow yeah well that's very powerful already so i want us to just go straight from the beginning of it how did it all start and at what point do you feel this vice started to creep in mm. yeah wow so <laughs> yeah so shockingly <laughs> uh this vice as long as i can remember it could have even started way before yeah but how it when i realized that it manifested yeah. was when i was in p2, p2. now yeah p2 primary two okay primary two so by the time it manifests that means there was maybe some, years some. back that mm-hmm. it had already started maybe it could have started in p1 a mindset change and everything and then huh, everything comes out in p2 mm. so that was that is when it started and every time that i say this people mm. are like literally shocked they're like eh you see the same reaction you've given me like p2, p2? <laughs> yeah because it's, Bro, it's, it's quite so young. young yeah i was so young but yeah and the thing is that in p2 me i didn't even know what masturbation was yeah i got to know that it was called masturbation i think when i had reached high school mm. so me i was doing something and i didn't know what it was yeah so it started from p2 and um it kept on growing the yeah. more that i grew it kept on growing mm. and for me in order for that habit to start it started mm. when i used to overwatch you know at a young age your mind it's like your brain is an empty hard drive mm. when you're young mm. yes so whatever the world is feeding you you're downloading on Mm. that empty hard drive which is your mindset yeah and as a child Mm. i was downloading everything i was watching in the movies everything i was watching on tv in the music videos Mm. on tv literally Mm. you get but at the same time thank god for my parents because my parents were like you know what shiba Mm. let us take you to church so by then i used to be in the anglican church of uganda mm. church of uganda i used to sing in the choir what 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 mm. but when it came to downloading what is, is this side here you because now i was curious i was yeah. curious i was like okay i'm seeing this mouth touching this mouth what is that mm. I didn't know that is called kissing. Yeah. So I became more curious. So whatever I was watching, mm. I was downloading. Whatever I was hearing, I was downloading. And I think that's mind. something sure for cutting you shit. Yeah. And I think that's something we need to learn even mm. just like as parents. Mm. You know sometimes we leave TV. Yeah. Like a child just watches TV any channel, the remote is in their hand. Mm. They just change to the channel they feel is but hearing that that child's mind is downloading everything yeah. that is i think it calls for parents yeah. to be a little bit more cautious uh, yeah and regulate actually yeah yeah true. and the funny thing is that even it's even worse because these days i see kids with tabs their own tabs the smartphones I, I, and they are literally going through youtube and parents find what? it cool yeah they find it's cool. it cool like i need to get my child a tab yeah but that's that's dangerous that's very dangerous mm. so now in that era there mm. wasn't like instagram yet facebook yeah. yet yeah the only instagram and facebook was television true and there was this specific there was a specific channel panangi Mm. that channel would play from midnight 12 a.m to the next 12 a.m 
the whole 24 hours music nothing else manyago lango what what na music ku music yeah and i remember i used to watch because my parents used to go to work mm. so when i come back at school i find the tv there I'm like, mm. oh let me also watch mm. i watch i'm like hmm. okay so subconsciously yeah i'm downloading something and it might not affect me that same day yeah but it has already gone in my what system yeah. yeah true so the fact that it has gone in my system when i watch it again i won't be so bothered I want to watch again. I want to watch again. Okay. Okay, there is more, there is more, there is more. So that's how that vice started creeping in bigger mm. and bigger. Mm. And the funny thing to make things worse is that there was a specific song. Mm. Music, music and movies are spiritual. True. We shouldn't take that thing for granted. Yeah. I know like we say ah, you guys are so spiritual life is spiritual it is it is spiritual it is, and that is not a religious statement that is a fact yeah because i came to a realization that life is so spiritual because as a young kid i would sit i won't even i can't even mention the name of the person but this is a very famous singer mm. and she's a lady yeah and a lot of people out there worship her yeah she's very good she has a nice vocals and everything but i remember as a young kid when i was seated on that tv and i would see that specific song mm. the song was so sexual the words themselves yeah. were very sexual yeah the way she was dancing was so sexual. Yeah. I'm a girl. I'm looking at this. I'm hearing the words that are sexual. I'm seeing the words. What, what I'm watching on TV is also sexual. Then I'm seeing her make moves. This was like... This was like... It's not porn. Mm. But it wants to be like porn. But they're not making it obvious that it's porn. Yeah. I don't know if you get I my do. point. I you do. know? Yeah. Because as a young kid, I'm not supposed to be looking at what you're supposed to be doing private with your husband on the music. That that's private. That's intimacy. Yeah. Why are you putting it on the screen? Mm. So as a young kid, I'm seeing this. <laughs> Every time I used to watch that video, I would get enticed. Because now I started. I felt like I had a desire to do what, what I'm what, seeing. What you're watching, yeah. But then, for some reason, I was like, but I can't do it with a guy because I had that fear. Mm. Which year is that? that? Which class is that? Still primary. Primary, lower, like. Yeah. Mm. I think like primary three now. Mm. So, I was like, I can't do it with a guy because, mm. first of all, I had that conscious because people were, used to oversee this. The mm. senior ladies at our school, there was AIDS, mm. there was cheap babana, mm. they would rape kids, which yeah. which those things. So they would tell us, you know, make sure you do not uh, uh, indulge in any sexual bitchy mm. because you will get AIDS or you will become pregnant. Yeah. Even imagine, I've not even started my periods, but someone is telling me I will get pregnant <laughs> when I have sex with a guy. Yeah. Those are the city ladies, the people in schools who are giving what? Advice. Sexual advice. So those are the things that I knew. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I had that fear already. I can't indulge with a what? A guy. Yeah. So what do I do? Now, let me imagine. Mm. Yeah. Kids have this thing of imaginary friends. Oma no musanga. Kids do not have a problem with playing by themselves if you've noticed because now their mind for them they have that imagination kids with imagination it's a huge thing yeah that's why i think the devil attacks kids mm. he doesn't attack grown-ups it starts from he starts from the childhood mm. when they are kids yeah. because he knows their imagination is strong 
their belief system in their imagination is strong. strong. Yeah. So the devil attacked my imagination. Because mm. I was a kind of person who would imagine a lot. I would imagine I'm playing with someone and I would play alone. I would enjoy my what? Your life. My life alone. I didn't have to have friends. I would find all ways of enjoying myself. The devil attacked that. Mm. And then I started imagining someone. And the funny thing is that this person would be a grown up because of what I watched on what? On TV. So I would want to do what I'm what? What you're watching. watching. Yeah. And that's how the habit started. Yes. And every time I'm telling you this is the truth, God is my witness. Every time I would watch anything that has any sexual scene or any sexual you know act. act or what i would get stimulated at a young age yeah yeah i remember <laughs> i remember there was a time when you know never underestimate children children are so creative mm. that's the thing that me i know when i'm a parent banangi I'm going to watch over my kid with God because I know the things that I did. Mm. I masturbated when everyone was in the living room and no one ever knew. How? <laughs> That's where I'm coming. I'm bringing the tea. Please. I'm bringing the tea, girl. Please. Listen. I'm bringing the tea. <laughs> so, these things of playing you know you're playing you say that you're a young kid you have your car own house you want to do your car own house you know yeah. you have your car kitchen there what 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 so already my siblings and my parents were used to the fact that I'm a child but i remember that day i was watch i was from watching that music that same song there was that specific song that i would watch and and like, and every day they had to play it and that funny yes, and that, that, that was the channel that played in yeah, the home yeah so i remember i got a blanket so this is <laughs> there is this thing that we used to do in high school it was called dombeto it's <laughs> <So, laughs> when you get like a karesu jukida mm. mubera in the dormitories mm. they are deckers yes so you would put the lace with them the light shouldn't come in your what yes, in your bed yes, yes. so that's the same thing that i did when i was young in your i got house. a blanket i got a blanket got put the chair there and put the blanket over the what the chair so that it would could create that tent vibe yeah <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. so hey, guys though they were just looking at me they're like hey, she's, playing she's playing her own things so in my head i was like let me make it obvious that i'm what i'm playing so i first made it obvious that i'm playing my things which which i'm cooking what 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 those mama netata things which which i enter he did the act came back out continued what i was doing and no one knew yet if one was inside there. watching tv watching imagine yeah i'm sharing this story maybe to help parents yeah and to help people who are going to be future parents yeah i think it, actually that help, it helps parents more a lot yeah because you do not know never underestimate your child do not underestimate your child. Be like, ah, she's playing, leave her. Do not underestimate your child. She likes making tents. Yeah. But you do not know what is happening in the tent. Others buy them blocks. Exactly. And they will make houses. <laughs> Big houses. So I became more creative. Yeah. And funny thing is that deep within me, even as at a young age, I knew that what I was doing was not right. Yeah. Yeah. I knew I couldn't explain it, but mm. deep down in me, mm. I was like, "That's not it." But I was like, yeah, "Let me just do it," because I even didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Primary reaches. Primary gets done. P seven gets done. I'm in my vacation. 
high school camps. Mm. Even that was another sold. story. <laughs> hey! Mm. High school camps. I'm excited. Mm. The chest is growing. I've gotten hips. Mm. Puberty has knocked. Adolescence has knocked, you know. Mm. You're excited. Yeah. Vacation, you've been watching all the movies of high school, you know. High school musical. High school musical. What, what? you're like, I'm going to experience high school now. Mm. I reach high school. High school is a different stage now. Yeah. Because now, that is the most sensitive stage. Because now that is the teenager. Yeah. So now, everything that I have experienced when I was in primary, I'm like, now here, I think I have license. Mm. There are some things that I can allow. Mm. can have a boyfriend. I can kiss him. Because that's what the movies have shown. That's mm. okay. Mm. You know? Yeah. As long as you don't have sex, mm. you can hug him. Yeah, yeah. You know, you yeah, know, you know yeah, the yeah, things yeah. that the world has made acceptable. Yeah. So I was like, okay. And when I reached there, when I reached high school, form one, form two, that is when I know that this is what they call masturbation. Oh, the word. Yeah. Because now, wadi waba kawaka. We are those ones. For them, they already knew what it was, even when they were in primary. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because they had influence because of their big brothers or big mm. sisters. Mm. So most of them would be like, no, you know, masturbation, masturbation is okay. Shiba masturbation has no problem. Mm. It's a normal thing. Sure. As long you see, they have an advantages. Because mm. number one, you don't get pregnant. Mm. Number two, you get satisfied. Number three, you don't get AIDS. Mm. So it's it's very good. It's very good. And then the other thing is that you get experience mm -hmm. so that by the time you get married mm -hmm. you're not a kachicha chicha you the know devil. <laughs> usually that's the trick hey. i think it also works with the uh, primarito say mm. fornication mm. that no just just try so that by the time you get married hey. you're not a boring you're spouse you're not a boring spouse that's a lie From it's a the lie heat of hell it's a lie so ah that is how the influence, the environment made this thing strong. Yeah. And uh, still deep down within me, because I was raised also in the church, mm. that consciousness of me saying that this is not right, because why am I hiding? If it's, it, it, if it, it's, if okay. it's really okay, why am I hiding? Yeah. But I got to that point when I was in high school. So now this is where the thing is that when I was in high school, because I was always busy, mm. I didn't have time to masturbate. Mm. That thing always used to happen either when I'm in holidays, when I'm chilling or what, or when the environment is like safe for me, like there mm. is no one around. That is when that habit would come. Mm. And I wasn't... Because in, in high school, I'm in boarding section. I'm not so much of a person that watches what? TV. Yeah. So when you come back in holiday, the screen is there full time. And I remember I told you, the more I used to watch mm. things, the more I used to watch to get do. stimulated. Yeah, yeah. And now from the music videos, movies. These days, you do not have to go to a porn site mm. to look for porn. Pornography is in movies now. Yeah you will see someone literally having sex naked in a movie in a movie and some of these movies are played on national television yeah where again it is our chido people think that maybe kids be sleeping but there is a tv station that i remember i watched a movie and i was like oh my god this guy what? Yeah. How can you allow how can you allow this? This yeah. and moreover it wasn't even between sex between man and woman. It was between men and men. A sex scene on national, national television TV. in the middle of the night. So I got scared. I was like, wow. Now there is someone out there who is watching this. Mm. 
mm. and they're being programmed so high school laptops were there i would watch any kind of movie you know mm. some of these movies i even didn't know they have that yeah. Yeah. and <sighs> the church was very quiet because we weren't saying anything about sex education the people who are actually saying about sex are the perverted people. The movies are the ones that are teaching us about sex. Mm. They are teaching us that fornication is okay. They are teaching us that homosexuality is normal. They are teaching us that kissing is normal. They are teaching us that masturbation is a normal thing. That is why I had no problem with doing what I was doing because someone was teaching me. It wasn't my parents and it wasn't the church. The people that God actually trusts to teach us about his products because sex is of God. True. Sex education is supposed to start from the home itself. Mm. But how do I start telling my, my dad or my mom, hey, daddy, tell me about sex? It's weird. That's a them. very, especially African yeah. parents, yeah. that's a very uncomfortable they conversation. Don't go there. They don't go there. Mm. Yet, it is supposed to be that way. True. And if it's talk, if you're a parent and you're talking, you're talking to your child about sex, you're supposed to tell them about God's perspective. About sex. Mm, I agree, yeah. So for me, no one was telling me that. So me, I was like, whoever talks the loudest is the one I'm going with. And that's usually the inclination exactly. for many people. Exactly. Because TV is always volunteering yeah. information. Internet is always volunteering a device. Mm. I've even actually read, um, before the show, mm. I read a certain research where a doctor was actually saying that masturbation is good. Imagine. It's healthy. Something like, like, it, like uh, there's something, there's a word he used that helps the body to do something. I was like, okay, but this is information that is out there. Yeah. But the biblical perspective to sex is not out there. It's not. So anybody who learns on this first, on that research first, might believe it because it's what they, mm-hmm. they've they seen first. For us, we say, what? Why? Mm-hmm. Because we have a church perspective. We mm-hmm. have God's mind regarding it. But many don't. Mm-hmm. So I really agree with you. And I think it's just a, a reminder mm-hmm. even to us, like church or parents, to find balance mm. regarding that. Actually, yeah. one of the reasons as to why I find easy to share about this story is because I'm going to give birth to a daughter mm. and a son. Yeah. Whether I'm around or not around, yeah. whenever they go on YouTube or mm. whatever technology will be there, mm. they will find this story and they will know. Yeah. Because the world out there has given you see that devil is financing lies he has no problem with financing lies he will finance the lie because he's the chief liar yes deceiver yeah and that is what the world is what believing even people in the church they are struggling with this thing yeah people in marriages Mm. they are struggling with the same issue yeah but if you trust everything it all goes back to when they were young they especially, watch the hard drive downloaded. Yes, especially <laughs> masturbation. Yeah. Especially masturbation. Mm. Either when they were teenagers or when they were still toddlers. You know, it's so it's so it's so unbelievable. Yeah. But yet it's true. It's true. Me, I'm speaking out of experience. I hear you. I'm so you, out you need of to experience. continue on the point of uh, teenage beach, the secondary mm. school. So you finished secondary school? So I finished secondary school, but by the time I finish, <laughs> something else had come in. What is that? Now it was not only masturbation. Yeah. Fornication. Mm. Because remember I told you when I was in primary, I had that fear of, I can't indulge with a guy. Yeah. You know, because I'll get pregnant and I'll get AIDS and I'm still young. Yeah. So let me wait when I'm of what? Age. Age. High school kicks in, senior three, senior four, senior five, senior six. Mm. I get a boyfriend. Mm. 
boyfriend boyfriends mm. <laughs> i get boyfriends yeah we got a buli buli time we know we know we know we know we know you know uh-huh. <laughs> so in my head i was like now masturbation had an imaginary guy now i have another guy so why don't i transfer the knowledge that i got of masturbating into now my high school what time and i was like let me do this physically and see yeah and that is how the fornication just yeah. also started yeah so now the thing with masturbation is already you feel bad about yourself that one has its own effects yeah now got a fornication it also has its own what effects manange mm. i hated myself I hated myself but I would live in denial. Mm. I would find something you know that thing that says that misery wants company. Mm. I would find ways of making sure that I don't feel bad about what I'm doing. So I would always be in an environment where people make it look okay. Mm. So that you you don't feel so guilty. So I don't feel guilty. But I remember that guilt. Right now I have realized that that guilt was the Holy Spirit leading me that Shiba this is not who you are. This is not the life I want for you. Yeah. But then because of that misery, because of that sin, I was like, ah, let me watch a movie to make sure that I feel I don't feel guilty. I don't yeah. feel condemned and what and what so and what. So you see other people were doing it and you're consoled. I wanted that environment to suit the corruption that was in me chitegi mm, i do so fornication starts i started feeling bad and really my self worth had reduced because this thing whether i like it or not it affects your self worth yeah it affects your academics mm. my parents i i was i was supposed to be chopped in senior 3 Because I used to I used to read. Yeah. I used to read. But I think this thing much as it is a psychological issue, it also it affects you mentally. Mm. Your brain capacity is low. Mm. Because now you can't think for yourself. You can't even control yourself. Yeah. So that thing it psychologically and mentally affects your brain capacity. your focus it affects you mm, hear you so it affected my grades i believe i was even supposed to perform better in my form 4 but because of that issue those are one of my regrets but i can't change that past yeah you get yeah you do. form 6 reaches because now you're in fornication and you're in masturbation you're at the same time mm. you can't even focus yeah And the thing about masturbation and fornication is that these things there are so many things that follow mm. because now you're very good at lying. Because mm. first of all a must a person that masturbates is a very good liar. Mm. Do you mm. know how? I can sit here and you even don't know that I masturbate. Those are the first class hypocrites you will ever find. Yeah. because it's secret you know? it's secret so someone will show you a picture a perfect picture of who, who they, they are, are and that is a lie already but it's them who know but it's them who know so they have to keep sustaining that lie with other oh, yeah. lies yeah mm. so the fact that i'm giving you a perfect picture yet it's a lie that is how i start now lying in other In fact, for that master bed, it's natural for them to lie because they are living a because lie. Because they are living a lie already. Yeah. You get the point? I do. Then you start envying people. Hmm. <laughs> This thing opens doors to so many things. So many things. Hmm. And that is how my life got disorganized. Yeah. Yet I used to be in the church. You grew up in the church. I like, grew up in the church Anglican girl. church. Mm-hmm. But nobody nobody knew and you were still okay going back. I was back. still okay going back. But then 
at the same time, in fact, when I was in high school, I wanted to break this thing, mm. but I did not know how. Now, I want us to go to that point, which was actually your turning point. point. Mm. I want us to talk about um, how you finally overcame, especially on the how. Mm. Yes. <laughs> It's also a long, I should get ready. Yeah? Uh, get ready for that tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. yes. Because it's a journey. It is. It's a journey. The yeah. thing about this spirit, because it's a spirit, by the way. Yeah. The thing about this spirit is that it first keeps quiet and you think it's no longer there. Mm-hmm. It might take one year. When you've not two years, masturbated. Yeah, four months and you think, I'm okay. I'm good. Until one day when it comes back mm. and comes back harder, it's like an addiction, it's like a relapse. Yeah, it's the same thing because you are addicted to an imagination that is not even there. Mm. You're addicted to a lie, mm -hmm. you're addicted to a lie. So, I remember there were days when I would be like, Nine doza and dibulonji. Doza and dibulonji. I would even watch movies and I would be like, Ah. You're not moved. I'm not moved. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> you have to watch yourself. Hey, I'm like, in the Bologi. Yes, I would even be shocked. I would be like, eh. Oh, that bad. That you not see me. And nothing has happened. Now, you have to worry about the condos. I tell you that. I tell you that. Yeah. But literally, did I know that that was a seed that I was sowing. Mm. the next year to come mm. because whenever like it would keep quiet maybe like after a month even if i watch the movie and i'm not touched the next time that i do that act you remember what was in i the... remember what was in the other other movie that i just watched previously mm. yeah so for me it was a roller coaster because yeah. deep down i was like you know what i shouldn't i should i shouldn't be doing this I reached a point where God had opened my eyes to see what this thing was doing. Yeah. I was tired of the fornication. Mm. I was tired of feeling the way I was feeling because this thing brings shame on you. It makes you feel bad about yourself. Yeah. It makes you hate who you are. It yeah. makes you get angry at yourself. Mm. It makes you hate who you are. And once you hate who you are, you will never, if you do not love yourself, you won't even, you will never receive the love of God. You will never even give that love to other people because you already hate yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So I reached a point where I was like, God, you need to help me. Yeah. When I said that, I didn't allow God to help me. I now started a self-righteous program. Mm -hmm. Where I was like, you know what? Now, <laughs> according to my understanding, mm. this thing comes when I am this and this and this. So whenever the feeling comes, I'm going to take a cold shower. <laughs> you don't know how... Oh my God. Actually, that's what they call self-help. I don't know. You've heard people who say that... Um, like like men who are like addicted uh -huh, to alcohol, uh -huh. addicted to women, mm. that if you feel that... Just go to the gym. Mm -hmm. Do an activity that makes your mind not think about it. Mm -hmm. And then they say, the problem with you is that you think about it. <laughs> Once you think about it, you give room to your mind, mm. then the thought comes. <laughs> so what you do, you go jogging. <laughs> <laughs> if, if jogging doesn't work for oh you, my God, do that's swimming. So true. Oh, Lord, that's I, so like, true. Like, there are so many self-help programs. There are so many people that have tried and they are tired. Yeah. They go swimming come back come out of the pool sit there as they're sitting then a woman passes uh, there like you like, hey, hey. what about and remember I now you you're you're fresh you're, you're cold <laughs> I think it's yes. uh -huh. you're like <laughs> your poor has just open. Open. Hey. and then surprisingly once you go like to gyms like kampala gyms uh, now it's even worse uh -huh. because even in the gyms people sometimes go there to get women uh -huh. and then somebody is telling you you go to the gym distract your mind <laughs> and then there's this woman who has come on uh, that treadmill uh -huh. and it's just and she looks good she has a nice figure and the way she has dressed she has dressed uh. and then i think also women have learned the art of dressing uh -huh. up for gyms and you're like yo yep is this what is going to help me yeah yeah so uh. take us through your self-righteousness journey 
<laughs> so I did those cold shower things. <laughs> then number two, <laughs> they don't work by the way. They they don't. Don't. Number two, they even worsen things because now your pores are open. <laughs> so your blood is everywhere. <laughs> The desire hey, comes alive. Desire you comes know? alive. Because mm-hmm. now you're even cold. Yes. You so you want warmth. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Number two. Number two. I would be like, ha. Huh, now the sharing has not worked. Now, number two. Let me be clever. Whenever this thing comes, make yourself busy. Mm. What makes me busy? When, uh, when the feeling comes, I'm going to do housework. Bro, now call housework. <laughs> yeah? After finishing. Now call housework. After finishing, I would be tired. I would sleep. I would wake up. I would then watch a movie in the night when I'm tired and boom. Comes back. Comes back. So I tried everything. Everything. Even this thing of where you go to a pastor and the pastor prays for you. Ngaba <laughs> ansabila God, they prayed for me because they used to bring pastors at home. And the pastor would pray, but he wouldn't even know what he's praying for. So in my head, I'm like, God, this better work. This better work. And funny thing is that probably it worked, but I wasn't guided on how to maintain what you had received. The deliverance I was supposed to receive. Yeah. Because after praying, it's now like... (laughs) How can I even say this? It's not like after vomiting. <laughs> yeah? Then you go back and suck the vomit back. That is what I was doing. After being prayed for, and then I still go back to the same thing that stimulates me. That is what I was doing. Yeah. So, it's like God was like, finish everything. When you're done, when your options are done, and that's when you can let me work. I believe God was just there, sitting, looking at me. I was like, let her finish all her self-righteous programs. Yeah. Then I will step in. Yeah. Let her finish all of them. I finished all of them. Mm. By the time I finished all of them, I was like, I think, I think this is, a, huh, this is another lie. Mm-hmm. The devil comes and tells you, Shiba, you've done everything you could. <laughs> you've done everything you could. You've done everything you could. Even God sees <laughs> that you've done everything you, you could. Yeah. But things can't, they are not working. It's just not working. It's just who you are. <laughs> it's this just who you, you are. This is who you are. Better. You know? <laughs> I've been telling you this is a normal thing. Mm. So just chill. Plus, hmm? it's not like you're going to die now. Mm. You know, it's not like God is going to love you less. The devil. Nonsense. Rubbish. And I started believing that. Yeah. So what the devil was trying to do, he was trying to make me give up. Mm. The desire to get help. To from get God. help, yes. Mm. And the thing is that the be- <clears throat> the most beautiful thing, what I thank my parents for, mm. and this is what sh- parents should also learn. Once you train up a child in the way of God, no matter how stupid they become. It's a temporary situation. Mm. As long as you've trained them in the way they should go, even if they go this other way, they'll find themselves coming back. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the best gift my parents have given me. Mm. They trained me up. Mm. Not in the church, but in the way of God. Those are two different things. Yes. We need to be clear. Yeah. By giving me the freedom mm. to go to church, they put that they instilled in me that thing of Shiba Saba. Mm. Yeah. Even when it was during family time, they would tell me, ah, even if you're young, even if you're the last born today, you're the one praying for us. I know. Like they would train me. Yeah. So that was a seed that they were sowing because they didn't know the attack that was coming in my life later on. Yeah. And the, I believe that was the seed that used to keep on pushing me and telling me, Shiba, don't give up on yourself. Yeah. Don't give up on yourself. I would find myself watching someone's on LTV mm. and I would be like, but I need, I deserve a better life. I want to be happy. I don't want to be ashamed of myself. 
I don't want to do this and this and this. Until I was like, God, if you do not help me, no one else is going to help me. And God was like, yes. Finally. <laughs> Without surrender. Finally, you've surrendered. Finally. But after how long? <laughs> after how long? Yeah. Because, man, I mean, that's a truth. God waits for us years. to surrender. But sometimes you surrender after 30, after 50 years. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because you have a self-righteous program. Yeah. yeah. So, I remember it was one night. I mm. remember this night. Oh, my God. So, there was this revival. It was called the 77 Days of Glory. Oh. I used to watch it. I used to watch it. I used to go to church and everything. But there was this one specific night. I didn't go to church. Mm. But I stayed in the room. I stayed in the living room and I was watching. Now, those services were so powerful that that service would start at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. and it would end like at 4, 3 a.m. Yeah. And that service, I slept kokarito. I woke up. When I woke up, there was this lady who had come. She, she was sewing over a TV. And then she told pastor, she was like, pastor, I have an issue. She was a prostitute. And she was like, I am tired of prostitution. Musuman, Jagando, I want to be born again. Jagala Chuka. Muse mm. was like, okay. The, the service shifted. It shifted. I remember I was in the chair. At it home. was at around midnight. Yes. I was the only one in the living room. Mm. And for some reason, I woke up Ngandi fresh, saying that to low. <laughs> so I watched that service. They prayed for the lady. And immediately, Pastor was like, Now, if you're here and you have any issue with sexual perversion, doesn't matter what issue it is. Janguan. At first, people were like, <clears throat> There were a few, few people that came. Then Pastor said it the second time. He said, if you don't use this opportunity right now, the devil is going to disturb you for the rest of your life. Some of you, this is the only opportunity you have because you don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. I was shocked because I was like, hey, I thought I was the only one. Mm. So there were people that had incest. People would have sex with a goat, spiritual husbands. What banang? The perversion. Ah, the immorality. Having sex with your cousin, with your with your mother. The incest that was there. Fornication, adultery, prostitution, pornography. Master Bolika Chicha Yena concerning sexual immorality. Half of the church was in front. Half. And most of these people, funny thing, they were my age, but most of them were adults. Mm. I was shocked. I was like, I thought I was the only one. And I remember pastor said, your private parts. You're going to renounce this spirit with your own lips told them everyone touch touch your chest touch here everyone in church he even told he was like namu abatudde wali wa abatudde be manyi abatavudde yo katbuli omu situka katebeko o kwa tebuli wamu o gambe devil you have no authority over this is the temple of the holy spirit he, he told us to say those to things confession. to make a confession yeah then after i started praying so, he was like, even those of so, you who are watching on TV, mm. say these things, what, what? But he prayed for better the things that manifested that day. I was scared, but then in my head I was like, I also need this. I also need this. Maybe this is my time. So, I remember, I touched the TV, the screen, mm. and I was like, God, 
I might not be there, but my faith is in you, God. If you do not, do, if you do not deliver me from this good spirit, eh? Yeah? Mm. You're going to shame your name. Mm. I remember I even used the word walai. Mm. I was God. like, walai, you're going to shame your name. You're the only one I have. Please deliver me. I didn't throw myself the other side, no shake, 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 so that demons manifest out of me, no? Mm. All I had was my faith. And it saved you. All I had was my faith. And Pastor prayed. Musumbaya sabe sad. Nange ningamba. Wala if this thing doesn't work. There is no God in heaven. <laughs> if this thing doesn't work. There is no God in heaven. And after. There are other people that now came to testify. They brought witchcraft. Wichi, wichi, wichi. So then I switched off the TV. And I went back and slept. I went to my room and slept. It took me. Uh, how long? It took me over seven months to realize that I'm okay. Seven months to realize that I'm fine. You re- actually realized you hadn't done this. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You're not thinking I don't about I get it. Weird, 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 witchy. Mm. I don't, you know, I don't the get those cravings. Died. Like, oh, it died. It died. Then, I remember... <clears throat> My sister, she's a Holy Spirit filled believer. Mm. She used to overput LTV. Mm. So that is when I got to know of a woman called Joyce Meyer. Yeah. So I started watching Joyce Meyer. Then they used to put um, that, uh, that same program on the ministry's TV. Yeah. Where I perform. Yeah. And I used to watch her. I used to watch her. So she used to testify about her life, and I'm like, eh, Anang, eh, mm. <laughs> eh. And she used to over talk about, she's more of a person that talks about, like, she's very practical yeah. with living the Christian life. Yeah. She's very practical. Yeah, she I can agree. give you steps. Mm. So I remember that's when I got interest in reading the word. I used to just not read the word because of stories or what, or what, what. Mm. But I would read the word as, Okay, I need to renew my mind. Mm. That's how I get it, started getting familiar with the scriptures, with the scriptures mm. and what and what and what. And I remember there was a program of hers. No, it was actually a TBN program. And yeah. they had invited her. Mm. And she had a couple of other ladies. Yeah. And the ladies were telling, they were sharing their stories. They were like, you know, the best way is not just reading the bible but studying the bible mm. renew your mind make sure you no longer go through the th- if you want to have a change you have to do things that you have never done mm. if it means fasting fast if it means pray you pray if it means reading the word if you want the results that you want you have to do something you have never done mm. and do not give up keep on doing it yeah keep on doing it so slowly by slowly, that's when I started reading the word. Mm. I used to listen to someone's. Mm. I used to be picky with the kind of movies I used to watch. Yeah. I totally cut off secular music. Because mm. the desire yeah. had died. It had died. And that's the point of transformation. Because if the desire is still there, mm. and once you watch, you don't feel remorse. Yeah. I think that's the issue that needs mm. to be addressed. Yeah. So I was also careful with the kind of friends that mm. I had, but I also used to pray. Yeah. I used to tell God, I'm like, God, I do not have control yeah, <laughs> because they are over my friends. But if there is anyone around me that does not honor you, remove them. Mm. And you would find, I would find, I would just find a couple of girls that they have stopped to- talking to me. We have not quarreled. We have not done what. Mm. We have just stopped talking. And there God was no connection that. anymore. God, that. God does that yeah. in, in a different seasons. So basically, for me, that was that is the time I will never forget that night. Wow, it's so amazing how one night, one night changed, delivered, changed the trajectory yeah. of your life. And I think it's it's very important that we 
don't take such sometimes certain nights certain services mm. and you know for granted because god can visit you anytime imagine that day you were sleeping imagine imagine you see but god always makes a way mm. that you don't miss you of your breakthrough so i want you to look in the camera mm. and speak to a lady or a man who is struggling with masturbation before we close wow <laughs> Okay. Uh <clears throat> I'm not going to say like a lot of I'm not going to give you like direct steps. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. Yeah, after you do this, yeah, after you do this, there is no such thing. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you that there is something about the word of God. Mm. I promise you. I kid you not. You know when the Bible says that the anointing breaks the yoke? Mm. That anointing is the word of God. There is something about the word of God that breaks every yoke. Yes. Every yoke. Yes. Yes. Whether you like it or not. Mm. Everything that I am today and I am becoming is because of the word of God. Yes. Yes. There is nothing I'm going to tell you Manya fast seven days, pray seven times a day, the word of God. If you don't have that, because now the the Bible tells us that we are a product of our thoughts. Whatever yeah. a man thinketh in his heart, mm. so is he. Mm. Yeah. Whatever you think, you will become true so if you think about what the word of god says you will you become, become what that. the word of god says yeah and the fact that masturbation you see this sexual perversion thing it all starts in the mind true that's why when jesus came jesus said adultery is not the issue mm. let's start with the thought yeah if once you, you look and think of a lady in a lustful way you've already committed adultery even before you do it physically yeah yeah so Jesus was telling us the issue is not the act. Mm. The issue is where the act sources from. It starts from your thinking. Yes. Before you do something, you think about it. Mm. Yes. Mm. That's why God tells you, if you want to have a new life, you have to renew your, your mind. mind. On a daily basis. Through the word of God. Through the word of God. It's the word that renews. Because the world out there, you need to understand the world out there has its own theologies. Mm. It has its own things that it has made okay. But all of them are lies if they do not obey the word of God. Sure. Sure. There are a couple of scriptures in the word of God. Mm. There is this scripture that I recently wrote down. And you're going to see that it is true. Yeah. So it is in Luke chapter 11 verse 34 it mm. says no one lights a lamp and then hides it or puts it under a basket yeah. instead a lamp is placed on a stand where its light can be seen by all who enter the house yeah jesus continues and says your eye is, is like a lamp that provides light to your body yes when your eye is healthy your whole body is filled with light when your eye is unhealthy, your body is filled with darkness. Mm. How was I able to get this thing of masturbation? Mm. Is when I started seeing what I was seeing on TV. My yes. eye was downloading darkness, darkness in yes. my body. Yes. Mm. That's why Jesus tells you, if your eye causes you to sin, remove it. What is telling you, if it is that TV... Or that specific station that is making you download things. Jiveko. Yeah. Mm. Masturbation thrives through environment. It's like a parasite. Mm. It's like a bacteria or a virus. Mm. If you sanitize your hands, mm. that thing has to die. Mm. Now look at the word of God as a sanitizer. It breaks that environment. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a fish needs water to survive, 
Masturbation needs perversion to survive. To survive. The word of God. <laughs> That's why you. The word of God mm. is the one that kills every wrong environment. Yeah, because it renews your mind, and then your mind is is shaped by the word. Exactly. Which is the point we are trying to say exactly. here. Exactly. That once it changes your perspective, your mind gets renewed, and you realize that everything you had downloaded, even way back, starts to be washed mm. away. Away. Washed away. Washed away then you, you you now start to become like a vessel that is empty exactly. and the word of god starts to fill you afresh afresh and you become a completely, you become a new, completely new person. person you know god never wastes anything it's funny how we do the physical things yeah but god uses anything now yeah. let's give this example let's say if i get a flash mm. And the flash has a lot of garbage. Mm. Let's say the flash has a lot of porn, mm. a lot of sexual songs. Yeah. What do I do? I go, I delete everything from that flash. Yeah. I format it. I clean it. Yeah. That is what Jesus did. Mm. He cleaned us, removed all that dirt. Yeah. And he made you empty mm. of sin. Yes. Now, that flash would be useless if it's empty. Because a flash, its function is to download what? And to keep stuff, data. Mm. Mm. So that flash has to have something on it, it. Yes. To help it function its purpose. Yeah. So what do I do? I go get the data that is useful and for food. me and put it on the what? The flash. Actually, you know, Shiba, recently I, I met a lady who was asking me that how come like every time she's prayed for she gets delivered and then goes away then sometimes like every t- so she was tired of being prayed for all the time mm. and then something manifests yeah and she was like sometimes i get so irritated now i no longer go to even to be prayed for i no longer go to church because i feel embarrassed i'm like the moment they start to pray i might you get hmm. and and you know the analogy you've just explained for me explains mm. it because if you're delivered today and your vessel becomes empty, mm-hmm. the flesh becomes empty mm-hmm. and it's not filled with the word of mm-hmm. God. Actually, the scriptures say that that thing that went out of the you demon will, will go, go get, get seven, seven worse others. You see, and come back. come back. If you go back again after six months mm. to be prayed for, now they will be multiplied. Yeah. And that was her issue. Because, I mean, she could go to church so casually. Mm. Like, whenever she feels like after so many months and she had that same issue. And we're trying to be, like, you know, you have to fill your heart. You have mm. to fill your mind with the word of God so that the vessel is filled. When those things come back, they'll find you occupied. Yeah. And maybe the last thing that I want us to talk about is the application. Because now the question there, especially with many young people, is how to keep their mind mm. focused. Because now they know what mm. they need to do, what they when, what they need to fill their mind with. Mm. But the question is, is uh, how? Do you how do I actually fill my heart mm. with the word of God? Mm. Yeah. Well, the thing is that you do not have to wait for your pastor mm. to teach you about the word of God. Yeah. Much as it's also... It's important, though. Yeah. yeah. Do it on a personal basis. True. Because the thing is, about these sexual things, this sexual perversion, you didn't have to have someone to teach you. I don't know if it makes sense. It does. Like... Already, something is already teaching you. The internet is teaching you. The what is teaching you. And then you're getting it and then you're executing it. And the more you do it, the devil uses the same principles. The more you do it, Mm. the more better you become. Mm. The more you do it, the the more more better better you become. become You become a pro. Mm. So now it's the same thing with God. Mm. You might not be a person that can read like four scriptures a day. Mm. But start with one. Just start. Mm. And this internet has made things very easy. Yeah. There is a lot Teddy mm. Kwekwasa. There is a lot of material on this phone that, that you can get. Yeah. You can't go to a hospital. Mm. You have a headache and you're telling them to give you medicine for the liver. Mm. That is what we do. I cannot be having issues 
<laughs> with sexual perversion and then i go to the bible reading scriptures about prosperity <laughs> it doesn't make sense and yet this is the things we do uh, you need well, to deal with the actual issue yeah the thing that you see why the devil is thriving is that we are living in denial and the bible says much as the word of god <laughs> is the power of god it's yes. a sword it hurts yes, yes. it hurts it's it painful hurts. it's a sword it but hurts. then medicine hurts too too when they're injecting in you it's not it's not a thing that you enjoy when you're taking bitter medicine panado it's not something that is sweet that you can chew but it's what can heal you mm. so it's the same thing with the word of god young people especially young people we need to understand that the word of god is not a religious book mm. it's life yes itself mm. it is not a book of religion mm. it's life do not approach the word of god as a religious person approach the word of god because that is your life yes. the word of god is the one that created you mm. and whatever creates you sustains you mm. people need to understand the value of the word of god yeah young people you need to understand the value of the word of god god doesn't call you stupid he doesn't call you foolish he doesn't call you all those bad things that people call you. God doesn't call you simani simani, you're homosexual, you are gay. He doesn't call you those things. He calls you his righteousness. Mm. There are so many. The Bible even says there are precious thoughts about you. They outweigh the grains of the sand. But how will you know those things if you do not read and study? And don't just read, study. Yes. Get a notebook. Huh? Get your internet. Go. Scriptures about avoiding masturbation. They are there. <laughs> they are there. <laughs> they are there on Google. Yeah. Listen to sermons. Listen yeah. to powerful preachers. Don't wait for people to sit in order to tell you what to do. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is there. He is your number one teacher. <laughs> number two avoid your friends that talk about the same thing because the bible says that bad company corrupts what good, good character mm. the truth is that you might start and are you okay are you reading the word everything yeah, yeah. Certain friend. but you have to be careful with your environment if you do not change your environment you will still be addicted to that thing yeah. Whether it's the kind of movies that you watch, you have to be picky. The kind of movies that you watch, the kind of friends that you hang out, the kind of songs that you listen to, those things play a huge part. Mm. They play a huge part. Surround yourself with people that know the word of God, that teach the word of God. This is why I have a problem with people say, ah, me, I left church. Ah, I don't trust you if you left church. Yeah. Watch again. Be under a covering. The word of God will break. Because there now there are some things, there are some spirits that maybe the perversion spirit, they come through generational curses. Mm. But it will take the word of God, the knowledge of God, and the power of God to break those yokes. True. There are some things that just come because it's just a habit, because of your friends are doing it. And once you cut off your friends, you're, you're okay. Yeah. Mm. So we need to be very vigilant with the word. Hey, I cannot stop Emphasize, but emphasizing I think the word it's of been God. So clear. Thank you so much for sharing. I feel like this came with a whole package of experience, mm. a whole package of the transformation journey, mm. and really how to help anybody struggling. And that's why this talk show is here. Yeah. So leading people to the word of God for me, that is it, because it's the word of God that that makes us new beings. Mm. I feel like leading people to the word of God is the number one um, solution to any addiction. And the truth is that we usually want to 
to spice it up mm, sounds sound smarter yeah yeah knowledge you know you but... can you can do therapists you can do swimming you can do this and all those are good we are not really like disqualifying mm, them yeah. but we are telling you something that is eternal something that will stay even when other things have failed mm. so thank you so much this was um both a transformative journey but also came along with many many ways on how somebody can actually be delivered mm. yeah so thank you thank you thank you i don't know if you have anything else to say but i'd want us to close here yeah i'm good <laughs> i would want to encourage um, everybody who has watched us to go in our comment section let us know what you think about such an episode if you have a story or you feel there is something you've learned go in our comment section and share please share share this with anybody you feel could be struggling share it mostly with young people and some old people mm. yeah just share on groups and stuff and let us spread the knowledge okay so thank you very much till next time bye bye